Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Status by Daily Challenge Runs. This is October 28, 2018. And we are almost there at the end of what has turned out to be the most atrocious month for us. Um, October just been a little bit of a... A little bit of a downfall for me. Not playing it to my optimum. Not playing the best I can play, I think. And that is definitely shown in my scores, my wins, my losses. As you can all see, we are currently sitting on 17 wins and 10 losses. Not good. Very, very bad in my personal opinion. You know, you got you got to keep those, uh, those those losses in the single digits. You never want to hit that double digit section when it comes to losses, or you'll just feel like you've just really not accomplished much. For now, that we're gonna be jumping into this one. We are playing as the defect again, which is kind of nice. I'm very excited to be playing as the defect again. I I think the defect's the strongest character in the game um, by a mile. It's not even close. If you had to ask me, which of the three characters I would have the highest mathematical chance of getting a perfect month and that would be give me 30 defect runs give me 30 defect dailies and i'm pretty sure regardless of the modifiers i could probably pull out 28 to 29 wins um if not 30 so the defect definitely super 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 strong so that's really helpful of course we do have certain future and lethality together as you all know insanely difficult the, the certain future lethality combo has been a run ender for generations and i like to say generations although the game has been out for about a year um it just feels better to say for generations the Certain future lethality has ruined and end the many runs across many many slayers by hours. Uh, I'm not actually that many hours if you look here on my uh, Steam account quickly. I'm, I'm only seeing about 330 hours of slayers by. It's not that much slayers by I played, but uh, I do think I played enough of it to have an opinion. And the opinion is that uh, lethality and certain future together, single the lethality is insane. It's uh, one of the worst modifiers in the game. Um, but with certain future, which is also on its own. A notorious run ender together scary very scary now of course we do have the thalita which means anything that gives us attacks such as claws or for ones beam cells we'll go for the eyes swift strikes anything that's free like that and that's very easy to play with the sealed deck building component is going to be very 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 strong of course you do want a lot of defense because you need more defense than you have attack because you need attack a defense against the enemies doing more damage but if you can build the correct all for one deck you have a potential chance with the lethality to kill bosses slash enemies in one or two turns max. So, you know, it can happen. Uh, all for one deck with a one card draw and a um, turbo could infinite. So basically you go uh, zero, 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 all for one brings back the zeros. The turbo is one of them. So you play the turbo. The turbo then gets energy to play the next all for one. Of course, you have to upgrade the turbo because you're going to be drawing into void cards and then overclock just to draw into those cards again because overclocks for free. That could infinite combo if you play it correctly. So very interesting to get something along those lines if possible. So ideally, we'd be looking for one overclock, one turbo, one all for one, and then a couple of claws, a couple of beam cells, a couple of go for the eyes. And we should be Gucci. We should be fine. But. We do need to build a 10 card deck out of 30 cards. Remember, we pick 10 cards from the 30 on the screen. Let's make sure I understand this correctly because I don't usually do this correctly because I never really understood how it's working. But I thought that's a very long intro. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's uh, win, baby. So I don't see there's a claw, there's a beam cell right off the bat. There's a turbo, so we got a little bit of everything we want. FTL, claw, and FTL. So we don't, we didn't get a... We didn't get a off, a off one, but off one could show up still pretty easily. So I think I'm going to go FTL, FTL, Claw, Claw, um, Beam Cell, Claw. Now, how many, how many cards is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, six cards, seven cards, eight cards, nine cards, and... Uh, I think it's fine. 10 cards. That's beautiful. Let's go. I don't know why they say confirm. Can I change that? Is there a change that option? Because I don't think there is. Again. Very, very atrocious starting hand, by the way. Probably the worst possible starting hand we could have got. But I mean, if we keep this deck very small and we build this deck correctly, we could really build this into, into, something, into something lovely. I'm skipping all these. I, th I think I've got a strategy in mind. And I want to try my best to stick to this strategy. Because I think I can make this work, honestly. Uh, that's like a little bit unfortunate to play it in that specific subset of ways. But I think it's fine. Like, I mean, this could be really strong, right? I mean, look at this. We pretty much... We, we cycle through most of our deck. How much claws did I add? Three claws to stick? Fuck me, man. That's good. 
Or the shields is tempting. Very tempting because of that, that, that block. But uh, I think we just skip that for now. I will lose the HP for gold, of course. Because relics are going to be... Relics going to be way more important than almost anything else in this run right now. Relics are going to be on the highest level of importance. But uh, we'll look into that. Once again, we're just skipping all these cards. None of them... Nothing we've seen so far is good enough for what I need to do with this deck. So it's very difficult for me to to pick up these cards when, when they just not good. Obviously, I should have played that Steam Barrier. Why did I not play the Steam Barrier? I won't ever know the answer to that question, in case you guys are wondering. That was just a very dumb move on my side. A necessary amount of damage to lose, but... Uh, you know, let's just take down with a grain of salt. I mean, a cool head is tempting. Cool head was tempting, but I'm gonna skip it nonetheless. So, relics are all I care about here. Don't care about the energy. Panache could be really good. I think Panache is great. And none of the other cards are good here. So, you know, I'll take a Explosion Potion for Sentinels and Ruler. But yeah, Panache is the only card I see that I'm like, you know what, I could actually make Panache work. Panache, there's definite potential from Panache, and I'd love to make it work. So now we're gonna go fetch ourselves a Thor again, and... Oh, Panache! Yeah, yeah, this, this is... This go, oh, this is unfortunate. How many beam cells there? One beam cell. Ah, uh, skip. This is unfortunate. I would love a regen potion. <sighs> I would love a region push. I want to get that HP back. I'm going to skip that uh, beam sound. You might be thinking that is a little bit of a, a bad play. You know, you don't want to skip a beam cell, you fool. It's a beam cell. But it's actually not the wrong play. It's actually 100% the right play. So, definitely looking like we need a little, to upgrade a couple of these cards. Uh, kind of a big deal for us, you know. Upgrading cards such as the uh, claws to do a bit more damage. The beam cells were more vulnerable. All of those are just really good right now. So our first relic in the game, Bronze Scale. So it is the uh, the motherfuckers I thought it was going to be, which is great. Popping all our cards right off the bat. I have zero qualms about that. 100% believe that's the right play. Uh, claw again, hologram, and let's go get another claw. I can get a beam cell. Um, I mean, not a beam cell, cool hit it. Cool. Are we, really, we really have enough blocks. Let's just get a claw. Claw will kill one off. I mean, this is just beautiful. Look at how glorious this deck is right now. Can you guys see the glory that is this deck? Do you understand why I built this deck like this? I'm not, and lots of times I might look like I don't really know what I'm doing in space, but, but sometimes I really know what I'm doing. I just mis-execute. A big thing with me when it comes to space by is I mis-execute a lot because I'm not in always exactly sure where to take a deck or how to build a deck. But if you give me 30 cards and you tell me like, there you go, you know, it's a lot easier for me to figure out where to take the deck from that point onwards. Now this is a very bad opening hand, so I'm going to pop this attack card. I'm going to discard the attack card, and I lost HP by the way, because I fucked up. That's a big mistake by the way. That is, actually I can't describe to you how huge that is. That is so game-breakingly stupid that I'm actually extremely upset, disappointed in myself, and just genuinely ashamed. Honestly, about the, the retardation that I just uh, presented with that player. Ha like, you know, let's just get a perfect. Oh! Oh! Instead of a perfect, how about we just fucking almost kill ourselves? So, this is very difficult. Lots of stuff we want to upgrade here. I think we're going to upgrade the. It's either cool head or. I think cool headed. I was going to say hologram or the panache or the beam cell. Definitely 100%. Not even have to think about it. Um, but I decided to not because I thought, you know, I could actually make this work in a better way. I could make this work in a greater way. This is a little bit awkward because I don't really want to waste a... Claw. I don't really want to waste a claw on this guy, but I think I need to get that, that blocker. I'm also going to... I'm also going to pop this block open here. I don't want to take that much damage. It's a little bit too much damage to take. And I want to be... Uh, I want to upgrade cards for the upcoming boss fight instead of... Uh, instead of the al alternative. I will take another beam stop this point. I mean, FTLs are great. FTLs are so fucking good. I have to take it. They're so good, actually, for our deck and what we're doing. I mean, they're actually so good. It's ridiculous. Look at this. Claw, claw, claw. Uh, I won't pop that 
yet. So I might potentially need it, but I'm probably not gonna need it. That'll be great. Warp pop panache, warp pop beams, so I warp pop this. We'll go like that. That's beauty. FTL again, that's also beauty. We didn't get much as much out of it as I wanted. Do I have a car join this thing? I have a cool head. That's absolutely glorious. Cool head. It gave me two claws. Oh my word, game. Fuck me, that's sexy. Is that not sexy? Hmm. Obviously, I take a seek. It's for free. Obviously, I take curse key. It's also for free. Let's move along. Now, curses are a big problem for us in the deck. We don't want curses, but and now we're gonna get curses. So you know, maybe one could argue that I've uh, misjudged slash misplayed this deck. And, you know, you could be right. And I'm gonna take some damage out of the batch here, so potentially misplays there too. But uh, I am finding that our biggest problem we're gonna have right now, or what we're having right now, is simply just the fact that. I don't really have a uh, consistency set. I really need this uh, all for one. It's kind of going to be the, the deck clencher, the one that completes the deck and just makes it into that that glorious deck that we're looking for. And, and that's a big deal. That's a big deal. And I would have loved the beam cell, but it didn't happen. We'll go find one now. Panache was tempting, but I don't think we need it. So Beautiful. Now, generic algorithm is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. We've used it almost every single fight. We're getting everything we need to to just destroy people here. This is glorious. This is absolutely glorious. I'm very happy I went for this very specific uh, build and this very specific. Now, this I think is the only part where it's going to start getting scary for us. And that's just because of the fact that there's this many enemies in the game. See, now that's a little bit of a bad turn for us. Let's be honest with you. That was uh, not too good turn. And that's a, that, that comes down to just the physical amount of enemies that we have to deal with. There's a, there's a lot of them there. Yeah. I'd like to play generic Argon before the end of this fight, so let's see if we can delay if possible. There it is. Beautiful. Absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. I'm, I'm in love right now. I'm very, very much in love with this deck and everything this deck stands for. Don't want another beam style that I'm good. Snake could be a problem. Sneko could be the only actual problem we face in this deck. So this is a big deal for me. And I will gamble this through this actually. Seek out the... What? Where's my cool head? I will play cool head. Right? Um... Get the claw. Play the claw. Play this. Go get the cool head. Play the cool head. Get more damage. More claws. We needed to do as much as we could there because we could potentially see just threes. We could see so many threes that we might not know how to handle all the threes. And due to that, I needed a, a, a lot of early damage done on the first turn. Oh no, here's the turbo. Here's the turbo. And I did mention that turbo is, is critical. I'm gonna take it, but this that's the first one I'm not sure about in this run. Okay, upgrade two random cards, transform to remove a card and upgrade a random card. Look, if I'm being honest with you, Steam Barrier feels like it's really not doing much for me. I think upgrading two random cards is the best. So I'm gonna lose 40 gold and upgrade two random cards. With Steam Barrier and Claw, that's actually not bad, but it's not great either. I think Strawberry is super good. I don't think we want this. We don't. We do kind of shuffle though. We do kind of. This trip is tempting, but I don't think I care about it. Give me the. <laughs> And give me the... That's it. Do I want to move a card from a stick? I don't think I do. I would have done it if I wanted to do it. So I don't want, I don't want any of these. Let's move along. This was a very bad shot for us. But when the deck is so perfect, it's really hard to... Who's our boss? Collector. I think Gambler's Brew is the right one. Bag of mobs. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Now there's the Book of Stabbing. And you know, the Book of Stabbing, he's a fucker. He's definitely a fucker. He could single-handedly put you in a very scary position. That's a lot of damage, man. <gasps> what did I do? I'm a fucking retard. Let me just waste a gambler's brew potion like a fool and get zero out of it. You know, that's that's good gaming, man. That's that's just how I like to just show off my skills, you know, prove that I'm, I'm very good at this game. And not 
and then completely fuck the whole freaking system up because I'm stupid. But uh, no, I'm sure you guys forgive me for being retarded. Oh, that was dumb as fuck, man. That was a big misplay. I'm actually want this team right now. I'm feeling like my my deck is lacking defense heavily, and it's actually starting to become a problem. You have to FTL first. I think that's always the play. I'm gonna also fits up to uh, that because I could potentially play everything in this deck. So like this is fine. Like that is fine. Do the claw. Do the claw. Uh, play with the defend. Let's go pop a region. So as you see, we're definitely lacking the in the defense department. We need better defend cards because we tank too much damage. And against certain bosses, the, the, we're not going to get away with that. You know what I mean? We just, we're not getting away with that. This is how it is. I'll pop a full headed here. Full headed you pop because it gets you more card draws. And most of the cards on our deck cost zero. So it means we should. Oh, the eyes 100%. 100% have to add that to the deck. Which is not good because, as I've mentioned quite a few times now, where we're lacking right now is card draw. We need more card draw on this deck. The one cool headed is not enough to make this work and I'm, as you can all see I'm pretty sure that it's, it's definitely starting to affect us and our uh, so I'm gonna say score is not the right word but you can, I'm sure you guys get the picture. I'm gonna hologram a claw. Always take the upgraded claw by the way make sure you guys do that. That sounds simple like duh take the upgraded claw it does more damage but you know in you me it's not that simple. So I'm a bit worried about the run now, in all honesty. Like, I feel like we're in an okay place, but also feel like, you know, we are we are a little bit in a scary position against bosses, I think. Specifically against bosses, I feel like we are very weak. So I am worried about that. You gotta, you gotta use still panache first. There's no doubt in my mind I should panache first, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there right off the bat. So, like, the getting a hand like this one we got specifically here, just very bad because we didn't do a lot of damage. Like, we didn't do a lot of damage at all. And I was worried about something, I guess, happening. And it did happen, so... I mean, I can pop the hologram and get a free card. Like, the upgraded claw. Use the upgraded claw. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here, but it's okay. We take a lot. Actually, like, way too much damage there. Way too much. But that's... That's because, you know, that guy's a motherfucker. Specifically. I think I have to rest here. I would have loved to upgrade a card, but I need to rest. I need to just make sure I had a, some form of HP, or I might have found myself in a, a little bit of a dangerous situation. I think you do claw, I think you do claw, I think you hologram, you can find the other cool edit. You pop that cool edit. You just, you really need that, uh, you really need that, that ice, and you need that card draw on that first turn. So Panache is going to be big for us. It's going to be one of the most important features of our deck. It's a little bit awkward because even if I use the CK, I'm not going to get anything else. So I think I'll weaken you. I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do that. And uh, I'll play the Seek and I uh, will end it. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Not enough to die, hopefully, but quite a bit nonetheless. So this is fine. Uh, claw will take you out. A Beam Cell Claw will take you out. And then I'll go for Ice Claw will be good on you. We're going to tank more damage. Which is kind of the big thing right now that you notice. We're just tanking so much damage that it's a big problem. So we get our blocks obviously on the worst or worst possible times, but that's normal. That's very normal for a, uh, a run. So we're only going to draw attacks next turn, which means we're not going to have blocks, which means we could just get one shot at potentially. We have six blocks, 31 damage. We still alive for now, so we're going to give it our best go. I mean, I'm not throwing in the towel just because of a little bit of bad RNG, you know what I'm saying? So we are not dead yet, but we were super close, and that's frightening. That's very frightening. Lots of bad luck involved, obviously. No, oh, we should play the new game. Oh, I mean, we didn't have it, so it's fine. Uh, lots of bad luck, obviously. No, drew, there is awful one. There is my boy key. There is my boy key. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I was... That's great, man. Zero powers. Uh, that's what I needed. I needed that awful one. I got the awful one. I mean, that's this is an atrocious first turn, by the way. But we want a bag of prep. Desperately in this deck and we need some more cool cool headers. Those that is what this deck needs. That's all this deck needs. Until we get that, we will not actually be fine. I like to say we'll be fine, we will not be fine. I will add another cool edit. Now we're getting to quite a bit of cards here as you can see, but I'm adding cards that I think are very necessary necessary for our deck and what I'm trying to accomplish at least. So I think it's definitely all worth it in the long run. This is be like this is the turbo thing I was talking about. If we can get this to happen every time. We are gonna win. It's that simple. It's, it's great. It's very basic, but it works. And all we needed was a few cards to shop, 
that have showed up. Now, this is going to be an interesting fight. This is going to be a very nice fight to test the waters and how well we are actually um, doing in this run right now. Because the this dude is not easy, man. This guy is not an easy fight. He's specifically difficult. Uh, for us, as he, he can one-shot us, basically, on his, on his fifth turn. If we do not get the right cards, you know, we get the wrong stuff, the deck doesn't perform like we exactly want it to, you know. A couple of bad things like that, next you know, boom, bam, beam. You kind of gotten wrecked, you get off one here, obviously. And then you just go to town. Boys are back in town, boys are back in town. So our claws are getting ridiculous now, which is great. Which means we almost at a point now where I think if we draw one or two claws per turn we should be fine honestly look at that look at that you see what i mean and then light damage will just do it just get us over the point there of not having to take damage and as i said you know if we can just keep getting these calls to show up like show up at a good at a good enough pace it's a zero costing deck we should be fine now you know it's still it's still tight it's still very very tight that's a lot of damage you know what i'm saying you look at that damage you think to yourself that that looks like a lot jail you game that looks like a lot of motherfucking damage and i'm gonna say you know what you are 100 percent right that is a lot of motherfucking damage specifically the motherfucking part but if you believe in the claws just clawing and clawing and clawing it's like a little ursa bear you know the more you hit the more the stacks stack and mm, 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 mm. that's what it feels like that exact song I sung. Heal to full, lose 11 max HP, or gain a lot of money, lose golden idol. I'll take the billion money and lose a golden idol, thank you. I'm not losing the billion money for one thing. Obviously, we're going to smith here. Now, this is a big smith. This is a big smith, guys. This smith is huge. This is a very big smith. And I think we want to smith the hologram. I think hologram not exhausting is our win condition. This is a great fight. This is a great fight for us because it's a good tester. It's a good tester. We get to see where we're at. We get to see how we want to approach this. Where do we want to go with this? Right now, not too good. Very bad first turn, but what can we do? So if he attacks, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. He is summoning. That's good. He is attacking. That's very bad. So we're in a lot of trouble. I know I said a little bit, and then I instantly change it to a lot. And that might be frustrating. I get it. It could be annoying. But I said, I said with love. With love. Look at this. Look at the glory that is this run and understand why I tell you I picked specific cards for a specific run to do a specific thing. And as you can all tell, it is working, baby. I'm going to upgrade Panache. 14 damage is 4 extra damage every time we play 5 cards and we kind of play 5 cards. Now that is a little bit of an annoying curse that I picked up. I might want to just remove that. I think I will remove that because... Nope. Yes. No. Move along. I will remove that at the shop immediately. I'm not even gonna look at stuff, I'm just gonna remove it immediately because I don't want curses. You know why? Because curses fuck me. Give me a hand drill. I don't think I need it. Uh give me this, give me this, give me this and this. And I don't want anything else here, so let me move along. The boys back in town. That's all I know about the whole song, so that's about it guys. That's all you're gonna get. Okay, so that was the average first turn. Not great, not good. We need the cool headed. They are very we got too many cards in the deck now. Luckily one of them is a power which really helps us along the route of uh, destiny. And I know what you guys might be thinking. The root of destiny is not a word. It's a word from today. I will claw you, even though it was a little bit bad. I'm gonna use this. Use this. And look at this glory turn. Look at this glory turn, guys. Look at this glory turn and understand why I built the deck I built. The glorious of turns, glorious of turns. It's glorious. It's beautiful. Strength potion does seem more tempting to me than a skill card. Actually, a skill card seems very tempting. Look at this. Let's take strength potion. I don't want any of this shit. Move along. This is all crap. So if a 19 card deck, I would have liked to have had it a little bit smaller than this. It's a bit on the on the larger side of things right now, you know. Not really into the larger side of things. Nope, don't want that. I want this and I want Master Strength. Let's, go Let's uh, do that because I can. I'm going to ask. Hello, maybe play your panache, dude. I'm just going to point this out there that your panache is kind of a lot of your entire freaking strategy. And you should contemplate playing it in the future because it's very good. 
for your deck and what you are attempting to do with said deck? Hmm, sometimes. Sometimes I think. Some- Just- Oh, oh you know what? Chill's actually fucking good for us. It's so good. It's so good. 20 card deck, you know? That's a pretty classic deck mount, you know? You go like this. You go like that. You go like that. Now, this is exactly what I was a little bit worried about. This exact situation. Because we don't have the card draw to make it work. So, unless we get a cool head in our opening hand, we kind of can't make the strat work. So, if I'm thinking logically, I should probably focus the uh, cool headed. Where's the panache? If I play panache, I'll play panache. Okay. I should probably focus the cool the cool headed earlier than I'm doing right now. So let's keep that in mind for the future. Obviously, play generic album. I should have been playing that every time I had the chance, and I haven't. And you know what? There's only one person to blame for that. You guys. I know what you guys might be thinking. How is it your fault? It's, it should be my fault. It's not my fault. It's never my fault. Now, we could either upgrade a card, which is lovely, because a lot of good cards like cool headed, or we can race full. Uh, I'm going to upgrade a card. I love the strength. The strength would have been great. Don't misunderstand. I would have absolutely adored the strength, but I'm going to think about this logically. And the logical explanation of my idea is that we do not need that. So I'm going to pop the chill out of the bat. I'm going to pop the panache thing. Cool headed this bitch up in here. We're going to go for that beam star. We're going to master strats. We get the uh, weakness, which we love. We go for this, and then we use another cool headed. Right now, on the energy wise, we are lovely, so we're going to pop this and go again. Uh, pop the vulnerable so it stays on him. We're not going to need that, probably. I'm going to pop a cool one of these, and that should be Gucci. Beautiful. Ice cream would have saved this run. If we had ice cream, we would have won this without even a glitch. The only problem I do have right now that I'm worried about is simply just the amount of uh, HP he has with his two forms. So that's kind of my biggest fear right now. It's just he's got too many forms with too many stuff. But uh, this is a claw deck, so I'm kind of thinking we might still be okay. You know what? Maybe that was a mistake, but you know what? I'm going to take it as, I'm going to take it as it gives us an opportunity to make the claws even better. So, uh, I'm going to cool headed here, looking for claws. We didn't get the claws. FDL is fine. And uh, I'll cool headed again. I don't know what I'm looking for. Claws, I guess, but we can't use it anyway, so enter. Maybe that was a mistake, but I don't know. We'll find out on this turn. So, 300 HP to get through, 44 attack. I mean, that's a lot of attack damage. Pop this, multicast, leap, chaos. Ah, they all super suck. Can I just, I can skip them, I guess. You know what? Give me a free leap. It's a lot of block that I, I don't mind. It's okay. Okay, now let's go to town. Going to town is obviously of the utmost importance here. Yeah? It's not enough blocks, so no perfect, which is beyond fashion. This is probably why the daily scores so low. It's very hard to perfect. Uh, this run specifically as you can tell start like this go like that go like that pop generic pop the claw Let's go for the hologram get uh, Created out pop it created We were looking for that off one. We did find it. We didn't actually have the energy for it So I might have misplayed this slightly, but you know if you get another claw to do billion damage I mean, okay. Beautiful So we're gonna win this fight very easily we built a specific deck to do a specific thing It did the specific thing and we won the run. That's pretty much how satisfy works if you can build a deck like I did, and you take exactly what you want, I think I might have added a couple of cards too many to ruin the deck. 8 of 5 beyond low score. That's just a joke score, actually. We got one perfect, one champion, but that score is... Oi, papi. To build a deck that we love and still only place 800 is a joke. Uh, for my side, I mean, that's just bad play. I probably just played bad, but that was a fun deck. I mean, I could really see that one working. I don't know how to perfect with that deck, the thing is, like, you have a power you play, so it's one less power. Genetic, other than exhaust, more tragic exhaust, turbos, don't mean anything, steam rays, don't mean anything. I think what you could do here is you could skip chill. Chill, I think, was a mistake. You could skip one steam barrier, you could skip one beam cell. You could skip one master strategy. That's it. So you see, it's, we could have had four cards. They could have 16 card deck. Not sure how much difference I remember. Very, look at the relics. Look how little relics we have. Look at dailies we do well in. How many relics we have? Okay, we died in that one, but how many relics you have on dailies you do well in? These are this exactly the same length, guys. These runs are exactly the same length. And look how little relics we got. That just shows you like how important relics are for placement. Placement and points are very relic dependent. And we got very, very few relics, so we got very, very low score. It makes sense. It was a fun daily nonetheless. Very uh, straightforward, very fun, very like I like these type of claw decks. They're very hard to make work. You need to pretty much be able to one-shot the enemy, which is very, very difficult with certain enemies. Um, because claw just takes a little 
little bit too long to upgrade. Maybe if we had up we had uh, upgraded all the claw cards, you know, to the uh, five damage, that's two extra damage. It would have grown at a literal two times faster speed. Not really two times, more like it's more it's actually like 75 percent faster it would have gone 75 percent faster like 80 percent faster i'm not exactly sure what the mass is on that but it would have gone roughly 75 percent faster and that could make a massive difference that could be mean that could mean you finish a fight two turns earlier or you finish a fight a turn earlier and one turn earlier five finish or two turns earlier five finish means that you potentially take less damage it also means that you start faster it has a lot of positives so maybe you know i should have focused upgrading the claws but I went for upgrading the holograms and upgrading the, the cool headers because I need that card draw to make the deck work and I need that hologram to bring off one back multiple times. So just off so you play all the zeros, you pop off one, you play all the zeros, you pop off one, you play all the zeros, you pop off one. And if you have hologram and you have card draw and you have turbo, you can almost infinite loop that if you get if you do it correctly. So very, very cool, very interesting and very cool. I actually I like that a lot. That was very fun. Uh, all for one decks when you get to get brings ten cards back from the grave to your hand to do a ton of damage it's just always fun for now that's going to be a 30 minute episode of stays by i hope you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to hit that like button it helps out a lot subscribe please it helps out even more and i will see you all in the next episode of stays by daily challenge runs